Have you ever wondered why, despite all the advancements in medical science, we seem to be getting sicker? In a world where health is our greatest wealth, two colossi loom over our daily existence, Big Food and Big Pharma. These titans promise to nourish and heal us, to be the guardians of our well-being. But what if there's more to this story than meets the eye? What if these very industries, sworn to our service, are actually in cahoots to keep us in a state of perpetual illness? Let's take a journey to the vast farms and factories where our food undergoes transformation. Here in these sprawling landscapes, our meals are not merely designed to satiate hunger, but to cultivate cravings. Accusations have been thrown at big food corporations of bending scientific research to their will, downplaying the health hazards of their products while highlighting misleading benefits. Imagine a scandal, one that involves sugar, one of the most beloved components of our diet. Picture this, the sugar industry back in the 60s, paying scientists to shift the blame for heart disease from sugar to fat. This skewed science tipped the scales of dietary advice for decades, advocating low-fat diets while surreptitiously escalating our sugar intake. The fallout of such deceit is profound. By painting fat as the nemesis and endorsing addictive sugar-laden products as wholesome, Big Food ignited an epidemic of obesity, diabetes and heart disease. The strategic campaign of misinformation not only encouraged excessive sugar consumption, but also effectively concealed the addictive and detrimental nature of these engineered foods. The result? Entire generations entrapped by products that harm their health. As our waistlines burgeon, the grip of Big Pharma tightens. A society plagued by illness is a goldmine for the pharmaceutical industry, which profits from long-term reliance on medication rather than curing diseases. With the populace kept in the dark about the real causes of their ailments, Big Pharma swoops in with drugs to manage the symptoms of diet-related diseases. Today, we peel back the curtain on a chilling alliance designed to profit from a life of lasting illnesses. We're just getting started. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this hidden agenda. Our journey begins with a sweet deception, a notorious example of manipulation known as the sugar scandal. This is a tale of how the sugar industry in the 1960s sweet-talked scientific studies with their deep pockets, shifting the blame for heart disease from sugar to fat. It's a scandal that shook the foundation of nutritional science, a scandal that saw big food companies accused of manipulating scientific research to suit their own interests. The sugar industry, with its vast financial resources, effectively bought scientific consensus, paying scientists to downplay the health risks of sugar and emphasize the dangers of fat. This was not just an academic exercise, it had far-reaching implications on public health guidelines. For decades, we were told that fat was the enemy, that a low-fat diet was the key to a healthy life. But lurking behind this advice was a silent push toward sugar consumption. While we were busy avoiding fat, we were unknowingly filling our plates and glasses with sugar-loaded food and beverages. This was no accident. It was a calculated move by Big Food to increase our cravings and ensure we kept coming back for more, all under the guise of following healthy dietary advice. This manipulation didn't just affect our waistlines, it changed the course of nutritional science and public health policies. The fallout from this scandal is still felt today as we grapple with a global epidemic of obesity, diabetes and heart disease, all linked to excessive sugar consumption. The sugar scandal was not just a one-off incident, it was a clear demonstration of how big food could use its influence to distort scientific findings, feed us misinformation and shift the blame away from its products. It's a stark reminder that the food we eat is not just a matter of personal choice, but a result of manipulations by powerful industries. This corrupted science swayed decades of nutritional advice, emphasizing low-fat diets while silently boosting sugar consumption. It's a bitter truth to swallow, but it's the first step in understanding the hidden agenda behind our food. The consequences of this deception are profound and far-reaching. Let's take a moment to examine the health implications of this misinformation. We find ourselves living in a world where obesity, diabetes and heart disease are no longer the exception, but tragically, the norm. And this isn't a coincidence, but a calculated outcome of the misleading narrative painted by Big Food. 
By cleverly promoting fat as the enemy while marketing addictive, sugar-laden products as part of a healthy diet, these industries have fueled an epidemic. We're not just talking about a few extra pounds around the waistline, we're talking about serious, life-threatening conditions. Obesity, for one, is not just about body image, but a gateway to a host of other health issues, including heart disease and diabetes. And speaking of diabetes, let's not forget the sweet deception that's been spoon-fed to us. While we were busy avoiding fats, we were unknowingly consuming excessive amounts of sugar, leading to a dramatic rise in type 2 diabetes. A disease that was once rare has now become frighteningly common. Heart disease too is a grim consequence of this misinformation. With the blame shifted to fats, many have unknowingly put their hearts at risk by consuming sugar-laden foods marketed as healthy options. The deception runs deep, doesn't it? The repercussions of this strategic misinformation campaign go beyond just physical ailments. Consider the mental and emotional toll of living with chronic illnesses the stress of managing symptoms, and the despair of feeling trapped in a cycle of sickness. In the grand scheme of things, we're not just talking about individual health consequences. We're talking about the collective health of our society, our future generations. The children growing up in this era of misinformation are at risk of inheriting a legacy of health problems, engineered by industries that prioritize profit over wellness. Generations hooked on products that are detrimental to their health. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But it's not too late to change the narrative. Knowledge, as they say, is power. And it's time we wield that power to reclaim our health. As our waistlines expand, so does Big Pharma's influence. A chilling reality, isn't it? But let's delve deeper into this narrative. In a world where illness is a business, a sicker society translates into a more profitable landscape for the pharmaceutical industry. It's no secret that Big Pharma thrives, not on the eradication of diseases, but on the long-term dependency on medications. Consider this, a patient cured is a customer lost. So why would Big Pharma want to kill the goose that lays the golden eggs? Their business model isn't built around health, but around disease. The more diseases there are, the more medications can be sold. The more chronic the condition, the longer the patient remains a revenue stream. A harsh truth, yet a truth nonetheless. So, where does big food fit into this picture? Well, it's a symbiotic relationship of the most sinister kind. Big food, by its relentless promotion of unhealthy, addictive products, sets the stage, and Big Pharma, with its array of symptom-managing medications, delivers the final act. It's a cycle of sickness that starts with a bite and ends with a pill. Obesity, diabetes, heart disease, the common denominators, a poor diet and a pill to manage the symptoms. The cure, nowhere in sight. It's a vicious cycle that keeps spinning with us in the center, caught in a whirlwind of misinformation, manipulation and malady. But the plot thickens. Big Pharma's influence is not limited to the treatment of diseases. They also play a significant role in shaping the narrative around health and illness. Their funding of research often leads to results favoring their products, further entrenching their position in the healthcare system. Big food makes us sick, and Big Pharma keeps us on medications without ever curing the underlying causes. It's a reality we must confront if we are to break free from this cycle of sickness and reclaim our health. The first step, knowledge. And that's what we aim to provide. Because in this game, knowledge isn't just power, it's survival. Moreover, the influence of these industries extends into our educational systems. A subtle yet pervasive presence looms over our schools and universities, shaping the minds of future generations. The culprits, none other than big food and big pharma. It's a shrewd strategy, really. By funding educational materials, these industries can promote their products and the medicines needed to treat their side effects, all under the guise of education. They're not just selling products, they're selling a lifestyle, a worldview. Imagine a biology textbook funded by a major food conglomerate. It may subtly emphasize the importance of carbohydrates for energy, conveniently downplaying the role of sugar in obesity and diabetes. 
or consider a health class sponsored by a pharmaceutical giant where the focus lies on managing symptoms rather than preventing disease through a balanced diet and regular exercise. It's not overt advertising, but the message is clear. Eat what we sell, then take what we prescribe. It's a cycle of consumption that serves the bottom line of these industries, not the health of our society. This influence extends beyond the classroom. Big Food and Big Pharma also sponsor research, skewing scientific findings in their favour. The result is a skewed perception of health and nutrition, where we're encouraged to consume without question and medicate without understanding the root cause. The effects of this educational infiltration are long-lasting. We're not just talking about one misleading textbook or a single biased study. We're talking about a systematic approach to shaping our understanding of health and disease from our earliest school days right through to adulthood. The implications are profound. A society educated by the very industries that profit from its illness is a society that struggles to break free from a cycle of consumption and disease. Are we mere pawns in their profit-driven game? The answer lies not just in what we eat or what medicine we take, but in what we're taught to believe about our health and our bodies. As we uncover more about the ties between big food and big pharma, the question becomes, what do we do with this information? Each of us is, in essence, at the helm of our own health. We're the captains of our vessels, navigating the turbulent seas of misinformation and manipulation. The compass, you ask? It's knowledge and the power it bestows upon us. The journey towards genuine health and independence might seem daunting, especially when the giants of industry loom large, casting their ominous shadows. But remember, it's in the shadows that they thrive. It's in the darkness that they spin their webs of deceit. And it's only by shedding light on their dark machinations that we can break free. The path towards health isn't about following the latest fad diet or popping pills for quick fixes. It's about understanding the intricate connection between what we eat and how we feel. It's about questioning the norm. It's about peeling back the layers of misleading advertisements and the allure of convenience to reveal the truth about what we're putting into our bodies. But this is not just a personal journey, it's a collective one. It's a voyage we must embark on together as a society. We must demand transparency from these industries, insist on unbiased research, and advocate for policies that put our health above profits. Our choices matter. Every bite we take, every product we buy, every voice we raise, they all send a powerful message. A message that we won't be pawns in their profit-driven game. A message that we value our health and our freedom more than their bottom line. So the question isn't just what we do with this information, it's how we use it to spark change within ourselves, within our communities and within our world. It's how we use it to reclaim our health and our independence. Knowledge is power. Inform yourself, question everything. Let's use this power to make wiser food choices, to demand better from our industries and to create a healthier, more transparent world. Because in the end, the choice is ours and ours alone. Thank you for watching. This journey into the hidden alliances of big food and big pharma has revealed a sobering truth. Our health is more than just personal, it's political, and it's time to take control. If this video has opened your eyes to the manipulations behind our daily meals and medicines, don't keep it to yourself. Share it. Share it with your family, your friends, your community. Let's start a conversation that matters, and if you're hungry for more, subscribe. There are countless other stories lurking beneath the headlines waiting to be uncovered. Together, we can delve into these depths, question the status quo and demand transparency. So let's keep asking, keep exploring and most importantly keep sharing. Because when we share knowledge, we share power. And remember, it's not just about uncovering the truth, it's about acting on it. Together, we can reshape our future.